Work is underway to reopen Curtis Creek Elementary School in Sonora following a mudslide, a power outage, and a fire that forced students out of class for nearly two weeks. Our main focus has been securing the area and making sure it's safe. Principal Sharon Johnson expects the cleanup to be done by the end of next week. And um, then we'll be hearing from the state and the state architect and uh, on what we're going to have to do from there. Including whether the school will have to rebuild or repair the damaged classrooms. And we had uh, four classes that were impacted uh, pretty tough. Um, and then four more or five more were uh, smoke and water damage. So we're still assessing and again waiting for the state to tell us, you know, how whether we will be able to get back into those or not. Um, and then the library we're still waiting on as well. Right now, the campus is making plans to bring in 11 portable units and is transforming spaces like this boardroom into temporary classrooms. A school will open, reopen on Wednesday and um, staff will be here Monday and Tuesday to get settled into their temporary classrooms before the portables get here. It's also working with fire officials to address concerns from parents. One of the concerns was the hydrant system here. Uh, the hydrant system uh, is inoperable. Uh, the school district recently received a grant, uh, so in the next probably 18 months we'll have uh, water to the system. Another concern was why the fire alarm didn't sound off the day of the fire. Uh, about the three days before, the uh, power was out at the facility. So the uh, backup batteries for the um, uh, fire alarm will carry it over for about 24 hours. So we are beyond that 24 hour period. So the alarm system didn't activate. Cal Fire says the alarm is back up and running now that the power is back on. The system is up to code. Uh, so they did, they, had, they did everything right. And thanks to donations from the community, the students will have the supplies they lost in the fire to go back to class. In Sonora, Linda Muma, KCRA 3 News.